I was craving pizza all, already a week now. I probably got some kind of poop food poisoning. Stephen was gonna change the tire, but this tire is also flat. We have just trended. Yeah. And look at our look at our tire. It's completely completely flat. So we were victims of a bumpy road. Yeah. And now <laughs> this tire is also Yeah, so Stephen was going to change the tire, but this tire is also flat. <sighs> Let's see. Call for help. But you have Be nice. Bernard, a kind taxi driver, saw us on the middle of the road and picked us up to help breathe some new life into our spare tire. We got luckily somebody to help us. We're going to the filling station, pay off the tire, bring it back, fix it. Let's go. The guys from the tire shop were working their butts off. It felt like the whole city all of a sudden was in need for a new tire. You could see the stress on their faces. We were patiently waiting, but of course, Bernard wanted to get back to his work. We're back. Well, we're back in the cab. We have just filled up the tire. And now it is time. I hope you guys hear me. And now it is time to see if we can change the tire. At this point it was getting really dark and we had taken up enough of Bernard's time, but he was still determined to help us get back on the road. And yes, Steve knows how to change a tire, but this just shows how much people go out of their way to help you. Of course we reimbursed Bernard for his time. We're back on the road, Steve. Yes. Give us a short summary. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> so uh, everything is fixed now. Tomorrow we're gonna bring the spare spare tire back. Uh, it just got a little bit heated. What what got heated though? Uh, because I, I didn't even notice. Ah, uh, between the man that the taxi, the taxi driver, and yeah. the guys that were doing the tires because the taxi driver told him like, hey, can you check the tire for me? And then they were really uh, immediately like this. Then in the, in, the, in the sun, the whole day, it's normal to, to if somebody says something small, you can really re overreact. And I told him also like, they said something back and then you overreact. So don't take stuff too serious. Like Kaylee, ambition made you do it. Let's go. The following day we had to change the spare tire for the original one. Did you know that you aren't supposed to drive around for too long on a spare tire? The tire can be slightly different than the other ones, so it's best to switch it back with an original one as soon as you get the chance. Stephen is sitting on the sun because he is soaking up some vitamin D. <laughs> Too hot. Cars being repaired. Yeah, by Kaylee. <laughs> so I left Kaylee there. <laughs> Feminism. <laughs> Stay strong. We're gonna get some food in the meantime. I learned yesterday something. What a man can do, a woman can do bleeding. bleeding. <laughs> yes. Understand shout out, that. Shout out to Jennifer. Feminism. <laughs> So Kaylee's doing it right now. <laughs> no, We're gonna grab some food, pick up the car, Watch and out. then pick up the car and then go for a workout. As you can see, the car is working again, and we are en route to the hotel where we're maybe gonna get a little swim in by the pool, get ready, and then go for our first real night out in Ghana. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Let's go! My baby, I like you. My baby, I die for you. See you. You know, you know, I see you. I pray to the Lord. I write to the Lord. I write to the Lord. If 
Go to Mata Jambele Everything being safe again ma. Everything for your Jambele You are not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. We just returned from the pool. Yeah, we just returned. Katie just returned from the pool. I let Katie swim a little bit. She got a little <laughs> bit. Of she got a little bit of breathing air, she got a little bit of tanning And out. now I'm gonna give Katie some food, let's go I was craving pizza all, already a week now So Steven, give me pizza Katie's gonna be good Like having a big baby Letting Katie out <laughs> So she put this for us But we don't need this, right? <laughs> Why are you taking, taking it for me as well? Welcome to Africa. Do a taste test. Hmm? Do a taste test. I can't. The Do camera's a taste looking. Test. I cannot eat. Do a taste test. I cannot eat if the camera's looking. I'm shy. I normally don't do this. Yeah? Cheese. Hey. <laughs> and? I'm going to make you do it. Let's go. <laughs> Usually, I don't do this. So don't judge me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whenever I'm on holiday or I'm abroad and it's nice and warm, I try to not blow dry my hair and I try to let it air dry and this will give me usually the best result but it's always a surprise how they turn out so on the balcony right now look at that view just drying my air drying my hair and now waiting for steve to come back because he went to the supermarket to get me some energy drinks because i'm tired and we need to go the whole night so I'm shutting my last bit of energy and then we are gonna go in. We're gonna do the washing of this restaurant. The washing? Yeah, the avas. <laughs> the dishes. The dishes. <laughs> because we get, we came for free. <laughs> Everywhere for free. Everywhere for free. <laughs> Gratis. <laughs> Nederlandse mentaliteit. <laughs> Some kind of food poisoning. So I'm trying to cool myself off with yogurt. <laughs> 